I trust you'll find the information I'm about to share with you as interesting as my puppy Gavin there. Um, I know he's cute, but this will be very informative for you as well. Last week at our IPA Burwood discussion group, we had three representatives from the Inspector General of Taxation's office there. Well, I'd never even heard of this office until we got notified that they would be attending. So it was, I found it very interesting to find out how they have been set up to act on our behalf if we have any complaints with the ATO or the Tax Practitioners Board as um, practitioners ourselves or on behalf of our clients. So the things that they can um, look into for us and that we can make complaints about come under administrative services and that can include the timeliness of correspondence from these two bodies, the ATO and the Tax Practitioners Board. It could be the way that we've been dealt with, whether we have been dealt with in a fair and transparent manner, um, if we've been dealt with unfairly by any officers at these two boards also, we can make a complaint and they will look into it further for us. So I just thought it was very practical information that if we are having any issues that we can contact them let them know the circumstances and they can look into it further for us. They've also been set up as go-betweens between the government and these bodies as well. So they do reviews and at the moment they're looking at reviews on the long time um, that it's taking for some refunds to be given back to business owners um, from the ATO and technology, looking at the ATO website, how it is of benefit to us and how it can improve. So. They're quite busy in these areas as well. So I just want to make you aware of this, if you're not aware of this body, that you can contact them through their website. There's a form you can fill out, and if you have any complaints, then they'd be more than happy to uh, act on your behalf with the ATO and the Tax Practitioners Board.